Howdy y'all, KC here with a special video for you today um, because I'm going to give you a closer look at one of my custom knives. Um, this particular knife comes from the Hawaiian mustache himself, <laughs> Mr. Dirty over at Dirty Reviews. And the knife is the Dirty Knives Chub Necker. <laughs> I actually won this knife in a giveaway that Dirty did a few months ago, um, and I'm telling you, man, I really could not be any luckier. Um, I haven't won any giveaways on YouTube except for this one, and I actually haven't won a lot of anything in my life, um, but this was well worth the wait, that is for sure. I'm going to pull this out of here. I think we might get a little bit better uh, look at things if I do. So I'm going to start with the sheath. Um, you can see it's made of Kydex, and um, I just keep the paracord here kind of knotted up when I'm not using it. It just keeps it a little bit more manageable. Um, the Kydex itself is uh, like the perfect uh, caliber. You can see that it's, it's nice and thin, that it's not creating any extra weight on the knife, especially something that you're going to hang around your neck. But it's also not so thin that it's flimsy by any means. It's just perfect, just exactly what this knife needed. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the design of it is just clever as hell because you will probably already notice that there is a rivet here missing. And the reason that that rivet is missing is because of this little tab. Um, in order to withdraw the knife from the sheath, you have to depress the tab. And that lack of a rivet is what gives it its leeway to do that. So in order to withdraw the knife, you have to press down on the tab, pull the knife out, and you're good. Um, you can see that the, the Kydex was molded just perfectly to the knife itself. And the only downside that I would say uh, to this sheath is that with this tab, sometimes when you're putting it back in, um, the, the blade will actually catch on the side of, sorry, the light's kind of screwing, bouncing off that blade there and screwing things up. Um, the, the blade itself will actually catch on the Kydex and you may be able to see you know, there's a little bit of damage on there as it is from it catching from time to time. But to put the knife back in, you have to reverse the process, and that tab has to go back down. You get that really incredible, it's kind of hard to get that snap unless you're just, there you go, just right on the money. <clears throat> so, with that having been said, great, super smart sheath, love that thing. Um, the knife itself, you can see it is this really beautiful Tonto shape. It's kind of a, you know, like at first you look at it and it's a funky little shape, but um, grows on you super duper quick. Um, the, the finish on this thing is so incredibly professional. Um, I just, I can't even begin to describe how nice the finish is. Um, it's just super duper nice. Um, you can see the oh-so-cool Dirty Knives logo there, and you'll see also that there it has these uh, the grinds, and the, gr the the grind on the flats runs horizontally, and then the grind on the bevels run vertically. I guess if you could say, and then catty corner for the tonto tip, and then it. Uh, fades down into this really almost mirror polished bevel at the bottom. It's really, really nice. And uh, this is a chisel grind. And I don't normally like a chisel grind, but um, this knife is so sharp that it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> um, as for aesthetics, um, on the blade itself, you can see that this grind is actually a little bit thicker than the one here on the Tonto tip. 
Um, but I think that, you know, that kind of had to be done. Otherwise, it would just look kind of funky. <laughs> um, anyways, we'll move on. Um, as far as you have this nice little thumb ramp here that feels very nice when you hold it. Um, you got the finger twirl down there. And when you grab it, you just get this really nice little pinch. Um, bring your fingers on around there. And boy, is it comfortable for being such a small, small knife. Um, you see that it has this really awesome, whoops, um, tiger striped G10 handles. And he, on the flat top part of it, it kind of has a, uh, still has a bit of that peel ply texture to it and he also you know he he drilled the holes in there the little crater holes and it's really neat because you can see all the tiger striping right inside of them very very nicely done and you know for me one of the things that um, gives me pleasure with knives is the way that they feel in the hand, you know, the, the way the handle's made, or just the ergonomic shape of it, <clears throat> and, um, or, you know, things having to do with the fit and the finish. And one thing that I want to make a note of with this particular knife is there is absolutely no distinction between the scale and the tang of the knife um, it's so buttery smooth when you run your fingers over that, and it's like that all the way around it. Just so smooth, you know. I mean, if you run your fingernail across here, you can actually feel the texture of the um, the tiger stripe, but you won't feel the blade <laughs> when it makes that transition. So, uh, just superb, superb, superb feels really nice. Um, you have a couple of tubes in here, one being a lanyard tube or lanyard hole. And uh, it didn't come with the lanyard when I got it. Uh, this is something that I put on myself. Um, I got the Tiki lanyard, or the Tiki, um, oh my goodness, what's it called? <laughs> lanyard bead from Schmuckatelli. And, uh, you know, I thought that Considering this knife comes from Hawaii, uh, tiki on there is absolutely perfect. And I threw a little snake knot in a lanyard. Um, and it really, you know, and I left a little bit of tassels down here too. Um, just to kind of give it a little bit of that extra tribal feel and look. And I think it just suits the knife perfectly. It really came out very nice. Um, if there's any one thing that I could, oh, well, let me go back one step here. Um, you know, because the knife is so small, you're only getting, oh, what, two and a half finger grip there. And throwing that lanyard on there just absolutely, uh, completely changes it. Um, you know, it gives, gives you that extra little nice feeling in the back. Um, so, um... If there's any one thing that I could or would change about this particular knife, um, it's that I, you know, I use it for smaller tasks because it's a smaller knife, you know, it's just something you can whip off of your neck real quick, um, you know, so I usually will end up doing a cutting action like this or, you know, like this or like this. Um, so every one of those is comfortable except for the last one, and that would be this grip right here. Um, and what I would change is I would, uh, I wish that this little area right here on the scales was scooped out just a touch, just a tiny touch. Um, I think it would really perfect the ergonomic on it. Um, but as you can see, it kind of comes down into that really, the scale comes into that really fine point there by the Ricasso. And I don't know if it would, uh, you know, play into or screw up that really nice little detail on the knife. But anyways, um, this is the Dirty Knives 
Chub Necker. And I'm no knife reviewer. I just love them and wanted to talk about this one. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, let me know. I have some other knives that uh, I might show off in the future. And hope I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll look forward to your feedback.